Where's the video clip from the speaking gig I did a year ago? What the heck did I do with the screen recording that I need for this LinkedIn video? I wonder how other people organize their folders. I can't find anything, this is so frustrating. Stick around so I can show you how to organize your video content into folders. You can use this folder structure to organize anything on your computer so that you just know exactly where everything is. What's up Purpose Driven Coaches? If you're new here, I'm Matt, and this channel is all about helping you spread your message, grow your audience, and create a big impact with video. So if that resonates with you, make sure you hit that subscribe button and tap the bell for notifications so you don't miss any future videos. So we're gonna head over to the computer and I'm gonna show you my folder structure so that you can see how I organized all my content and I'm gonna give you some tips on how you can get more organized. The goal here is to get your folder structure to a point where you just know where your folders are and most importantly you can get to the stuff that you use the most in the least amount of clicks. So with that being said let's go check it out. So the first thing you want to do when you're thinking about your folder structure is consider your workflow and how can you set this up so that it's going to streamline your processes. So I actually made this YouTube folder and I'll show you really quickly how I make a new project. I've got these three main folders to, that contain the types of content I'm making right now. If I ever pivot or start a new kind of playlist, then I would make a new folder for that specific type of content so they're all organized into those folders. This is probably one of the biggest time savers here, the folder template. And essentially it's just these five folders that are empty. I'm gonna copy these, head back to this folder, and let's say I'm gonna make a video tutorial. So I would create a new folder, and I would call it making a new tutorial. I'm also gonna use a tagging system I would definitely recommend you consider so that while you're creating tons of content, you are able to track and organize your video files. And so I'm gonna give this a label. It's gonna be for YouTube, so I'll say YouTube, and then I'll put March 10th. That's the date today, 2020. And this tag I'll actually use in the file name, the project file, I'll use it when I upload it. I'll tag that pretty much everywhere. If there was a Facebook version of this video, then I would just put FB at the front and keep the same structure. So that's one suggestion. Agencies and corporations actually organize their content into a spreadsheet, so that's something um, you could use as a tagging system for spreadsheets as well. Anyways, let's continue. So I'm gonna paste those folders in here, and then I would put things like logos or any other graphics I need in here. Photos is less common. I don't use a lot of photos in my videos. And then the project files from Premiere Pro are gonna go into this folder. Sound files that are one-offs for this specific project I would put in here. And then all my footage from my phone, my camera, screen recordings would go into that folder. The next thing you can do is you can start a Premiere Pro project or whatever video editor you use and you can simply drag and drop these folders into Premiere Pro. And so I wouldn't copy the project files, but I could copy the graphics, photos, sound, and footage. If they contain files, when you start a Premiere Pro project, making, a, I'll name this making a tutorial. I'll use the same tagging structure here, YouTube, March 10th, 2020. And I'm gonna make sure it goes into the correct folder. Now that's not the correct place because this is going to be the project file and where those get stored. So I'm actually going to make sure that I'm not just in this folder, I'm going to put it into the project files folder. Hit OK. And so now, assuming these had files inside of them, I could just drag those and drop them into the media bin. Since there's nothing in them, they won't show up. But while we're in here, I'll show you really quickly how I organize all my media inside of an editing project. So the second thing I did was I made this micro content folder which contains all the shorter form content since they're all pretty similar. So I've got these set up so that 
you know, if I'm making Facebook videos, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, and teasers, which are trailers for YouTube videos, they're all centralized in this one folder. And within these, I would create the same kind of structures. And let's not forget, we're gonna to start to tag these so that they're easy to find. So put INS for Instagram, March 10, 2020. So you kind of get the idea how I'm managing the project files. The next thing, the most important folder is this global assets folder. It's a universal folder. So I've set this up in sequence of how important these folders are and how often I use them and based on their purpose. So these are the ones that I use the most. Something important to keep in mind while you're setting this up is it's gonna evolve over time. And you might find opportunities to make this more streamlined. For example, this renders folder didn't exist a few days ago. I was going in and out of YouTube and micro content and like it was just so many clicks I found when I was trying to find my video files which I've already rendered, I've already edited, I've created them, and they're ready to get uploaded. So instead of searching for them in multiple different locations, I put it into the centralized assets folder. And from here, I'll create a folder for each of the platforms. Now I know where my renders are, and they're all in one folder in one place, making them much faster to get to. If you're on a Windows computer, one thing that's kind of cool is you can tag a folder as quick access, then I'm gonna pin the renders folder to quick access. That way I can get here very quickly, no matter where I am on my computer, which is awesome. In terms of sound, you might have noticed that I had a sound folder inside of the YouTube folder. So those are only for one-off sound files. Now you're gonna have sound files and other types of files that you use across a multitude of projects and that's why this folder exists so that you can organize it. I've got music, sound effects, and then I've just made some screenshots of my Adobe Audition presets I made in case for some reason I lose them, which has happened before. Ultimately, a minimalist approach to your folder structure is gonna help you save tons of time and it's gonna free up mental clarity so that you're not looking through stuff and trying to hunt around a bunch of folders and files that you're never going to use. If you found this video helpful, make sure you check out this video over here. And if you got any value, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell for notifications. And I hope to see you creating a big impact with your videos.